There we go. In order for me to put one of these... Oh, I didn't think about that. Oh! Ho, 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 yes. What's up, zombie slayers? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my 7 Days to Die Alpha 16 Let's Play. Last video, I set up some... What did I call it? Uh, blade repair system, okay? Um, basically what this is, is if I want to repair my blades, I could kind of come down here. I could come down here and I could repair my blades from down here. Um, I might alter this a little bit because I kind of want some protection so I don't fall off, but I'm not really sure if it's going to work. Also, we, um, we went ahead and made a outline around the entire base and I started putting down some barbed wire. And let me show you one more thing before we move on to today's episode. I also came over here and... Oh, hold on. We got a stupid screamer. Shut up, stupid scream! Here, I'll take care of your ass. There you go. Oh, I didn't hook these up yet. Well, there's some of them that aren't hooked up. Anywho. Um, oh, boy. That other going to get chopped up. So, uh, yeah. So, right here. You guys told me. Uh, I read in the comments. I actually did it right after the episode. As soon as the episode was over, I dug underneath the ramps. And the whole thing fell. Oh, that's my food. I got to put it in the oven. Anyway, I dug under, I dug underneath the ramps and the whole thing fell. You guys told me that in the comments and that was great, great advice. Um, I really like this barbed wire, man. I think it's going to be cool on Horde Night. It really stops the zombies. Um, I like it quite a bit. Anywho, what are we going to do today? Well, today we are going to come all the way over here and we're going to work on the new base um, for today and possibly a couple videos to come. Not really sure, um, but that's what we're going to do. We're going to go work on the new base. As a matter of fact, I'm going to turn everything off here. And we're just going to head on over there right now. I don't see any reason to wait. If you end up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. This is everything I'm bringing. I hope I'm bringing enough. I don't really know. But um, I'm going to pause the video now. I'm going to go throw my food in the oven in real life. And, <laughs> and I'm going to head on over. Actually, there's one other thing I want to show you before we uh, go over there. I'm, I'm, uh, Autumn's on her way home and I'm making dinner. So i got to throw it in the oven. Damn it, I usually like to hit it on the way down. Anyway, I've been, uh, check this out. So, can you see, what, can you guess what I'm going to be doing here? Come all the way down here. A little ramp going up. This is going to be the new entrance of this base. And we already got the dirt, so, um, that is pretty cool. Alright guys, let me get over to the new, uh, the new base area. Throw my, uh, throw my food in the oven. And then we will come back and we'll be doing some base building. Okay guys, the first thing we're going to be doing here is oh you know what the first thing we're gonna do is chop down a tree or two um because we need some wood we need to make some um <clears throat> we need to make some uh uh some wood frames to uh hop around on go chainsaw is freaking awesome i love it come to pop 189 that looks awesome okay so now we're gonna do is we're gonna place down our blade traps okay so let's just come right up the middle here oh whoa whoa why didn't oh i put it on the wrong spot there we go. right there Okay, and all right, so let's go ahead and put one right here, right here. Now, I have no idea if this is going to work or not. Honestly, I have no clue. I've never built anything like this. I've never seen anyone build anything like this, um, but it should be uh, pretty interesting one way or another. And now, uh, let's face it, guys, um, for a YouTube content creator, interesting is what we're going for. It's great if it works. Interesting is best. <laughs> Am I right? I mean, I think I'm right. All right, so there we go. So that's the setup, guys. All right, so now what we're going to do is we need to figure out a way to get ones on top. Now, this is going to be the challenge, how to get them on top. So let me come on over here. Do I have a way to get over there? I think I do. Yep, right here. All right, so we've got a way to get over. So let's go this way. And then we need to climb up there. Uh, we want an easy way to get up there. <clears throat> so are we going to leave this as wood? I think we're going to leave this as wood. We might as well. I don't think it's going to be a problem. Although, if, so, if stuff... You know what? I don't think I want this as wood. I think I want this as concrete. Because if cops break in underneath and they barf up here, the wood will melt away. So, um, I'm actually not going to upgrade it. Because um, I am going to want to probably change it out. Alright, so we need... It. I want tra I want traps to be on the top as well. Now, this is definitely going to be the, the ceiling. Um, so, we could probably have these come right through there. Let's let's do this. Let's. Uh, can we get over there? Uh, no. Um, well, we could put one right there. That's fine. That works. All right, so we need a little bit of scaffolding here. All right. <clears throat> so, is this right here going to be a, a, a for sure thing? Um, I think it is. All right. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to grab some of the... Do we want rebar frames? Yeah, we want rebar frames. I don't see any reason to use anything else other than rebar frames. 
So let's go like this. Build a little scaffolding. All right. And then we're going to build this out. That's got to go right above there. So like that. Um, one more. Mm, trying to think about how I want to do this. Well, that's definitely got to be a solid block. No matter what. That's got to be like that. Hello, lady. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> All right. So we're going to need uh, some open areas up here to... to um, to repair. And that's where the problem is. Repairing is the issue. Alright? So I think what we're going to do is we're going to... The middle ones are going to be the hardest ones to repair. I've already got our way to repair the outside ones. It's the middle ones I'm worried about. Do we need to repair these? Um, not really, but it would be nice to be able to repair all of them. If we could repair all of them, this could be... Oh, okay. Never mind. I know how we could do this. Okay. Um, <clears throat> should I commit? Oh, boy. I, I'm always scared to commit. <laughs> Because once you start upgrading stuff, guys, there's no going back. All right, guys. Made it a little bit uh, cooler looking underneath there, at least. All right. So let's um, let's do this. And then we're going to pick these up. Uh, well, we don't even have to worry about that. Let's do the side first. Let's do the side first. All right. So we're going to need some more of our... I like to call this wood frame scaffolding. Because <laughs> that's exactly how I use it. Okay. And that's good. So what we're going to use down here is we're going to use the pillar 100s. Right? Right. And I forget how many I have to put here. I think one more, right? Yeah, one more. And then put this right here. And that's the uh, that's the setup, guys. That's the way it's going to be all the way around. As a matter of fact, I I don't see anything wrong. I really hope I'm I hope, really hope I'm right about this and we're going to we're going to commit. And that's going to be the setup going all the way around. Oh, okay. All right, let's do the middle one next because uh, the middle, like I said, the middle one's going to be the hardest one to, to, oh, does my game sound low to you guys? No. Okay. It's just me. Um, yeah, the middle one's going to be the hardest one to set up. So let's set the middle one up next, but I think I pretty much got this the way I'm going to want it to go. So let's, uh, let's get this corpse out of here. Yeah, I think this is going to work out uh, pretty nice. I'll be able to re repair all these things. I'll probably still lose some because... You know, once the hordes start getting really crazy, I, you know, I might not be able to repair them in time. But, um, I think it's going to be okay. Let's make, uh, two, four, six, eight. We're going to need eight more of these. Thank God this isn't, like, hold your own. In hold your own, you have to wait for the entire thing to finish. Um, I kind of hope they change that and hold your own, but... <laughs> anyway, uh, oh boy, I don't have any room for anything. Um, I want to keep all this stuff on my hopper. Alright, I'm going to assume I'm not going to get hurt. <laughs> It's a good thing to, it's a good thing to assume, right? <clears throat> All right, so that goes right up there. That goes right there. Boom. And you go like that. You go like that. You get upgraded. Oh, whatever. I put this down too. Two of these. Upgrade. And blade trap. All right. So now we need to figure out how we're gonna repair these things from the top. I don't know. It's going to be a little tough. The top's a little higher than I thought. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to reach. Um, you could reach pretty far to repair things, but... I don't know. It's going to be tough. That's a setup, by the way, though. What the hell is that? Is that a... Is that a vulture somewhere or something? Yeah, I, I've been hearing things lately. I blame starvation. <laughs> I thought I heard a hyena, right? Alright, let's get on up there. Let's do some upgrading. Let's, um, we got iron bars. Now, iron bars are gonna be the, uh, the go-to for up here. Alright, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna do this. Okay. Alright, so now we need some iron bars up here. And we're gonna need some wood frames. I'm sorry, some wood hatches. Hatch. Cage. There you go. Wood hatches. Did we use all our wood? Yeah, we did. We, we shift-clicked. Of course we shift-clicked. Um, let me go ahead and get some more wood. Wow, that didn't take long. And yes, I did drink. I did drink, guys. Put the put down the pitchforks and torches. You can stop with the comments. I went ahead and drank. <laughs> All right, so I'm thinking a... Uh, can I... See, I'm not going to be able to repair that from here. There's no way. There's no way. Let me take a look. Uh, well, there's no... Can I repair these from here? Well, I could always put them in the middle. I could always put the hatches in the middle. All right, let me, uh, let me see... Where I can repair from. Can I repair from here? You know what? We need to damage these a little bit. 
Yeah. Let's damage them a little bit. Just so I can see if I can repair them. Alright, you two. The one on the bottom, I don't... I mean... Well, these ones in the front I could repair from there, so it doesn't really matter. This is more for the ones... What the hell? There we go. Okay. Uh, the ones that, the ones in front I could repair from here. Not a problem. Well, can I? Yes, I can. I definitely can. So if worse comes to worse and we can't repair them from the top, we'll only lose the ones up front. But I don't want to lose those either, to be honest. Alright, so we can repair the top one from here. Barely. Should we have a little step-down thing like we like we did at the other base? I mean, I guess we could. Alright, let's take this to the next logical conclusion. Let's bring these over this way. I mean, I could have a step-down if repairing is that important. I don't really see any reason not to, to be honest. Well, let's kill this clown. I mean, if worse comes to worse, the little step-down thing might be a little dangerous, you know? I don't know. I prefer not to do it. It's kind of... I don't know. It's, it's a little bit... Just not I don't know. I don't like it. I'm not really sure why. I can't explain it. I just prefer not to use it if I don't have to. There we go. There we go. And you... <clears throat> and you come down twice. Oh my god. I should have saw that coming. Damn, that sucked. Alright guys, that should work for a little bit extra stability. This might actually work the way it is if I let it all dry, but I don't know. That's a lot of weight. Um, there's no reason for the zombies to beat on this pillar. I will upgrade it to steel. Um, there's no way they're just going to sit here and beat on this pillar for no reason. So, um, it should be it should be pretty safe. So there we go. We got that. We got that. Let's go ahead and put these down. And there we go. We lost we lost a couple of blade traps, or one blade trap at least. Ah, that's a bummer. Alright, well, live and learn. Alright, so that'll be the setup, right? Like that. It looks pretty good to me. It should be alright. I mean, I don't really um I don't really see the issue. Um we could put spikes over here if we want to. I don't think we need that many spikes. We probably don't even need the amount of spikes we put up there. It's probably it's probably already overkill. So um I don't really see the need for that. So let's bring this up. We're gonna need some more of those. What are they called? Um, archways? Yes. Yes. Two, four, six, eight. Uh, maybe even more than eight now because we got another set coming out. But that is okay. Let's put this down so we can walk over this way. This will be the easiest way to build this. Uh, so there's my archways. So let's put some archways here. Try this again. Boy, this is... um. This is uh, freaking deja vu. There we go. And we'll put this right here. Now if they break down that pillar, although, you know what? Once I put the iron bars across, um, it's all gonna lock into place and solidify. Um, when I have iron bars going from the middle to the edge, even if they knock down that pillar, the iron bars from the middle pillar will help hold the whole thing up. It's really gonna lock in nicely um, when it's all said and done. Uh, we just need to get to that point. All right, so we're gonna need some more archways. And we're going to need some more of these. So let's just do that right there. Boom. Okay, come on. There we go. I have no way of getting that up there. I'm going to have to nerd pull up. There we go. The archways, um, you know, it doesn't look like they add a lot of stability, but they do. I mean, it's it doesn't matter that there's only one little piece attaching. It's still full stability. So um, it looks a little weird, but I don't know. I kind of like it. Right, so we'll do that. And then we'll do this over here. Let's go ahead and upgrade this whole thing. I'm definitely going to upgrade these to steel before we do a Horde Knight here. There we go. Put this... Wait, what? Oh, Cage, you freaking dumbass. <laughs> oh, man. All right, guys. Have your have your laughs at KJ for its expense. <laughs> oh, Cage, I hate you. Why are you so dumb? <laughs> Oh, I am just kidding. It's pretty funny. It's stuff like this that make let's, makes Let's Plays fun. You know? If you're watching Mr. Perfect all the time, who wants to see that, right? I know, I'm just jealous that I'm not perfect. <laughs> but still, I'm just I'm just gonna, you know, it's gonna help me sleep at night to say that. Alright, so let's go and do this. Let's bring this up. Come on, damn it. There you go. There you go. Hey man, anytime you're building, a, anytime you're doing a new build for the first time, you're gonna waste some materials. Just the way it... Just the, the way of the game, you know? Go. And we put this in right there. Bring this down here. 
upgrade everything and put in a play trap beautiful come on there we go all right now we got to see if we can uh if we can repair these from the top i we probably can't i'm thinking the bottom ones might be in trouble but yeah whatever i don't i don't know i don't really see of any good way to do it with this uh kind of defense but it's okay even if i lose the six in front it's not really the end of the world um Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll come over here and we'll see where we can repair these from. So uh, we should probably do it from right here. All right, so let me see. I don't want to put the iron bars down until I know where I want to put them. So let's just hold off on that. Okay, so we put those there. Put these here. All right, so I don't think, I'm pretty sure we can't reach those from here. Yeah, I'm almost positive we can't. Let's damage them just to see. Um... I could put some kind of step down thing like I did it like I did at the Autumn Sunshine base. Like I said, I could do that. It's just it's gonna make it look stupid, you know. Come on. Come on. I don't think I have to damage them to tell, but I'm just doing it just to be thorough. All right, so let's come on in here. Oh wow, we can almost we can almost reach those from here. Well, not really, because the other ones are in the way. All right, so we come up top. This is this is too high. It's too high. Oh, I could repair the top one. All right. So the bottom ones are the problem. Honestly, I don't see any way around that. You know, the bottom ones are going to be an issue, just the way it is, because the top ones are in, in. Even if I could reach the bottom ones, the top ones are kind of in the way. So. All right, I'm just having a little dinner here, a little meat stew. Um, thinking about this. All right, there's there's three things I can do with this build. <clears throat> three things I can do with this build. Okay, I could take out the the circular, uh, you know, the pillars, and have them as regular blocks going down. And then what I could do is I could have a catwalk system right above the zombies instead of having um, iron bars up there, which was my original idea. I could have a catwalk system down here, right above the zombies, and that would allow me maybe to reach the bottom, the bottom, uh, blades, but even then it might be tough with the angles and stuff. Honestly, I don't want to do it. I like the pillar fifth, the pillar hundreds. I think it looks cool. Um, so with that being said, these, these, this bottom one, that bottom one, and that bottom one are probably going to get broken out. I can repair the top ones from the top. I can repair all six of these from inside. And what I could do is once they get broken out, just don't replace them. Break out the blocks below them, put in spikes. Have have the um then what I could do is I could have uh just the blade traps on the top right here, not even have them on the bottom. But you know what? If I have to replace three blade traps, you know, for a horde knight, that's not really a big deal. I mean, what does a blade trap take? Right? I mean, replacing a bunch of them sucks, but I mean, look at that. Three blade traps? I could I could get that stuff in my sleep. Although, I will be using parts to repair as well. But, I, I kind of like the setup. I think I'm going to leave it like this. Um, the only thing I could do, like I said, is make these... make Put the catwalks underneath. But even the catwalks would get in the way of the shotguns. Because the shotgun turrets are going to be on the top. On top of the iron bars. So, that wouldn't even really work. Um, maybe there's ways around it. But I like this build. It's not perfect. But it's different. And I really like it. And I'm going to go with it. All right, so with that being said, the next thing we need to do is um, we need to put down some iron bars up here. So that's what we're going to do. Now, the three in front, I could definitely repair from over here. That is not that is not an issue. Let me just double check. Yeah, I can repair that from here, repair that from here. And they're all the same distance away. So if I could repair those, it means I could repair all of them. All right, so we're good with that. Alright, alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to put the iron bars, now the iron bars have to be on the bottom part, they can't be on the top. So what we need to do is on face, there we go, do we want them facing that way? Yeah, I kind of like them facing that way. And then we'll put that right there, and put that right, nope, nope, nope. Uh, this is going to be copy rotation. I think we already put down an iron bar where we weren't supposed to. Hold on a sec. Yes, we did. Um, I don't want one here. I don't want one here. All right, so let's take this out. Oops. Oopsie. Yeah, it's going to happen. What are you going to do? All right, so then we put the iron bars there. 
there, there. And I'm going to have shotgun turrets up top here, pointing down. The, these these zombies are freaking dead. <laughs> they're, forget it, man. They're, they're freaking toast. This thing is going to absolutely dismantle them. I mean, it's going to be a bloodbath. So, all right. Uh, oh, that's right. With These are going to be on top. Can I put them upside down? I don't think I can. Right? Oh, I could put them upside down. But they kind of look stupid, but better than before. Um, all right, what I want to do is I'm going to build this up like this. Because I want to see which... I want, them to, I want them to close onto the inside. Uh, no. Like that. Right? I've never done this before. It looks kind of stupid, but... The other thing I could do is I could make a plate. Um, actually, I already have plates. So what I could do is I could put a plate right here and use that. Or I could use... Um, there's a lot of things I could do here. Uh, do I do I care that it, what it looks like upside down? Um, I kind of do. It's cool though that it closes down, uh, or opens down. I mean, so I, I could just do that and repair. Boom. Oh, that's really neat. That's really neat. But it it juts up. It's like on top. But the thing is, if I put something down here, then it's gonna make this part uneven. It, it, in order for me to put in order for me to put one of these things um, up here, hold on one second. In order for me to put one of these hatches on top, uh, wait, it's it's always upside down now. Okay, hold on a sec. There we go. In order for me to put one of these, oh, I didn't think about that. Oh, ho, 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 yes, 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 yes. Now, what is that going to look like upgraded? Do I have what I need to upgrade it? Um, I don't see anything. Let's see what that's going to look like upgraded because I'm not going to leave them as wood hatches. They've got to be upgraded because, um, wood hatches will melt. If, like, <laughs> if a zombie cop looks at a wood hatch, it's going to melt. Did I not bring any iron? Seriously, Cage? I actually came out here to hit some boulders to get iron, and then I realized I did have some iron. But I don't have forged iron, so that's a bummer. I don't know what you need to upgrade these hatches. I don't think you need forged iron. So, um, let's upgrade one and see. You might. I don't know. Let's see. No, you don't. Okay. So there you go. I could do it like that. That works for me. Wow. That um, that's pretty cool. I like that. I like it. Get out of here, you stupid hatch. I got the. I got better plans for you. All right. So was this on face? Yes. Perfect. <laughs> Easy peasy lemon squeezy. There we go. Yeah, that looks badass. Now the next upgrade. How much hit points do they have? Ooh, a thousand hit points. All right, that's rough because of the cops, but I, I could repair it if I need to, so it shouldn't be a problem. All right, so um, well, let's keep doing this part, and then uh, yeah, this is uh, this is coming along. This is coming along. Come on, come on. There we go. Uh, do I need them over here? I don't really need them over here, but I'm gonna finish them anyway because I don't think I definitely don't need any hatches. Oh, that is looking badass. That is looking badass, people. I'm loving it. Okay, open, open. There we go. Yeah, the next one is a hatch hatch, and we, we don't want to do that. All right, well, let's um let's just finish this part now. I kind of want to finish it. So let me um grab this and this. We got everything we need. Uh, I think we're going to need some more archways. So let me get some more archways. Uh, we're going to need two, four, six. I don't know how many. We'll just make six. Probably six. And we don't need this. It's filling our inventory up. All right, let's do this. Hells yeah. That looks cool. We'll have a shotgun turret right here. A shotgun turret right here. It'll be awesome. Shut up, timer. We're not done yet. You're not the boss of me, timer. And I know there's an airdrop. I, I don't probably won't even mark it. I don't really care. The airdrops aren't that good in vanilla. <laughs> all right um all right so let's just come right up the middle again here and then we will upgrade these and then this goes right in the middle there right yep and then we're nerd pull up one more yep and then there we're almost done guys hang in there oh don't rip the freaking spike okay um, uh, I want that on there. So we'll take this out. Put the archway. Okay. 
Uh, there we go. There we go. Boom. Boom, boom. Upgrade. I'll put the things on last. There's no point in putting them on beforehand in case stuff collapses. Although it won't, because now I know what I'm doing, kind of. It's always dangerous when you think you know what you're doing, right? Isn't that the time that you need to be most worried? There we go, and there. Made a, I made enough mistakes for one freaking episode. <laughs> Alright, there we go. And let's go ahead and grab our blade traps. One there. One there. Beautiful. Let's finish up top so I can grab a nice pretty screenshot. Alright. Oh, that is that is really cool, man. That is really cool. That's going to be a death trap. Holy cow. These zombies are in trouble. This is what I wanted. I wanted a choke point where we're going to use 12 blade traps and they are going to be so condensed. They're just going to devastate zombies. I might lose some of them, but, you know, I mean, no, no build is perfect. Alright, so let's finish this up. I'd really like to grab a screenshot. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, right across there. Right across here. And yes, um, uh, game, uh, Games for Kicks was the one who inspired me to do this build on his last build. I don't know if it was vanilla or not. I don't usually get a chance to watch a lot of uh, other YouTubers, but I did watch Games for Kicks' as, um, one of his last videos uh, before he restarted Worlds, um, where he had this like base. He had very narrow corridors. That's where I like this setup better because the uh, the corridors aren't narrow, so zombies can really flood in and die. Um, so I kind of like learned from his build a little bit. Uh, the the next thing we have to do is spider zombie proof this place, but that's um that's gonna be next time. All right, so let's do this um, on face. Oh, on face just makes this freaking easy. It's embarrassing how easy it is with on face. Oh, this is great. I'll probably keep my generator on the second floor. Or third floor. Because that's technically the second floor. Okay, you're good. And you're good. Oh, awesome. Shotgun turret here. And if I want to, I could put a shotgun... I could put like four shotgun turrets up there if I want to. But I, I think two will be good enough. Oh, that's just freaking great. I'm going to grab a screenshot. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. And until then, take it easy.